Hey guys again, here with another question in topic 7.1. We're looking at properties of isotopes. Uh, what we have here is a diagram showing the deflection chamber of a mass spectrometer. We have a source of ions, uh, so the ions are coming out of the source, this way, and a bunch of different paths that those ions might take in a region of uniform magnetic field. Uh, it, we're told that track X shows the path of a singly charged carbon-12 ion. Which track would show the track of a singly charged carbon-14 ion that has the same initial speed? So let's talk about what's happening for a second. Singly charged carbon-12 ion means that we've added or removed one elementary charge. If we're charging carbon-12, we'll just assume that we're removing a charge. That's the easiest thing to do. Uh, so what we have is carbon-12 with uh, six uh, protons and only five electrons. So it has a charge. Uh, if a charged particle enters a magnetic field, it's going to experience a force. And we see that uh, the result of that force is a circular path, uh, meaning that the uh, magnetic field is directed either into or out of the page, uh, and we're getting centripetal forces. Um, so what's different if we fire carbon-14 in that's also singly charged and has the same initial speed? Well, we know that the force produced on a moving charge in a magnetic field is QGB sine theta. We can ignore the sine theta because we've already determined that uh, the ions are moving perpendicular to the magnetic field, so that sine of theta is going to be 1, QGB. If they're moving at the same speed, then V is the same. If they're both singly charged, then Q is the same. And if they're both moving through the same magnetic field, then V is the same, which means that they both experience the same force. But they're not the same particle. Carbon-14 is slightly more massive, uh, just a little bit less than 20% more massive, which means it has more inertia, which means it's harder to change its motion. So as it flies through this uh, region of magnetic field, the force applied to carbon-12 produced path X, but the same force applied to carbon-14 is going to have a harder time changing the motion of this ion, it's going to fly out further. But then the question is, is it going to fly out to path C or path D? Well, path D is twice the radius of path X, so you might expect that to result from the particle that's twice as massive. Carbon-14 is not even close to twice as massive. It's only a little bit more massive. So the result is going to be just a slight change to the path of the particle. Uh, and that would make C the best answer.